Okay guys, so what I want to do next is we're going to set up some automated web to blog networks, okay? And the easiest way to do that is to use IFTTT. Um, so what you want to make sure is you've got 22 channels activated. Um, there's actually 21 that I really use. And you can see the types of channels that we've got here, WordPress, Vimeo, Twitter, YouTube. These are where we can uh, storify as well. But these are, these are basically where the places that we can distribute content. So some of them are like uh, blogging sites like Blogger and WordPress and Tumblr, etc. Some are bookmarking sites like Delicious and Dago and Zuto. Um, we've got Hootsuite, which will host over to Google Plus. Um, and we've got Delicious as well. Um, you can see the, 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 the strategy as it unfolds here. But if you've never ever seen IFTTT.com, um, IFTTT stands for If This Then That, okay? Um, so let me go and create a recipe. Now the easiest way to get these set up is to get it done on um, Fiverr.com. We've got a guy who sets this up for us. He does 21 channels. And with the 21 channels, we have everything we need to go and do Web 2.0 blog networks and also to do um, automated link wheels for every single video that you ever upload to either YouTube or Vimeo, whichever one you want to use. Okay, so um, let's go and create a recipe over here. And creating a recipe is basically an if this then that. So if this is say, if I upload a new video to YouTube, create the trigger, then I want it to post the blogger, create a post, and here we can put and make sure we've got a title in here. What I like to do is get the title in a couple of times so we can choose from the ingredients here that make up the recipe. It's actually quite a smart idea how they've done this, even the, the thought behind how they were going to make it understandable for people. So we put in the video description, click on that one. We put in the video URL, click on that one. And we put in the author name, we click on that one, okay? In here, it doesn't give us anything that we can use for labels, which is tags, really. Um, so I'm just gonna make some up. YouTube SEO, video SEO, video, optim, oh sorry, video optimization. That's my main three keywords that I want to rank for, okay? Click that in there, and we're done. Recipe number one is done. So what happens then, every time a new video is uploaded to YouTube, <clears throat> it will automatically post the blogger. It will have the title, I have the URL from YouTube, but it will be an embedded video into um, blogger. It will have the author name, uh, et cetera, et cetera, just as we set it up there. So I need to go and create more of them, okay? So we've got 22 channels, this could be you know, it can maybe take 20 minutes, but it's kind of fun doing it as well. So let me just do two or three while you're still here. And so that you've got the concept completely if you've never seen this before. If you have seen it before, then you can probably just uh, end the video right now. Um, so we're going to do YouTube. We've done to blog blogger. So now we're going to do YouTube to Tumblr. Create a text post. Why text post? Because it will pull in the embed code, as you can see here. Okay. So we're going to put in here, I always put the title in again. It's like having keywords, it's like putting your first keyword in, in the description, that's why I do that, okay. Um, video description we're going to put in here. And we can put in here as well, video URL. And we can put in here the author name. And there. And in this section here. I don't think they give us a possibility for tags. What you can do for your tags as well is always put your author name in there. That's not a bad thing to do. It's branding. Okay. Um, you can put in the title, but I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do instead is just use my main three keywords again. Video, SEO, video optimization, video, oh sorry, YouTube SEO next one, wasn't it? YouTube SEO. That's it. Done. Okay, so you can see how easy this is to set up <clears throat> automated web to blog networks. You don't have to pay someone a fiver to keep doing these kind of things for you. IFTTT allows you to keep doing this. So, uh, really, really simple but very, very effective strategies, okay? Uh, I don't really see many people teaching this kind of stuff, which I think is rather surprising. Um, but very very good strategies 
So if we get a couple of these done, and you've got a couple of link wheels from IFTTT as well, which mean you need to have four accounts, you can see how powerful that could be. So we're going to post to WordPress now. So YouTube to WordPress, so we put in the title again, embed code. Let's get the description in there. Uh, oops. Let's get the video URL in there. Let's get author name. And again, it's not letting us do much with the uh, with the, the tags here. It's not letting us put any, any tags in here. So we need to put our own in here. If you know your WordPress site. Now, there's two ways you can use it for WordPress. You can use it for WordPress.com, which is a free version of WordPress, or your self-hosted ones. If you know your categories, um, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, in there, so um, I'm going to leave it blank because it seems to automatically put in the right place. But what I might do is put in uh, picture small. That should make sure that every video will go into the correct place, and that means it will show on the front page instead of just the uh, the, the side panel. The uh, sidebar uh, I use um I use uh, studio themes, Genesis themes, so um, you need to indicate what category you want it to be in for it to show on the, the front page. And tags again, just same stuff, video, SEO, video optimization, uh, uh, YouTube, wait, there we go. You can choose to publish imme immediately or publish as private draft or whatever. Uh, there's no reason to not publish immediately, it's fine. It's just syndication. Okay. So we got three. You can see it's very, very quick, very, very easy to set up. So let me just do one more. If, if you got it by now, then you don't need to watch the rest, but I'm going to keep doing um, one more just to make sure that somebody out there doesn't get it yet. That this will help them a little bit more okay so now we have done for WordPress we've done for Tumblr we've done for blogger that's the three main ones and um, what we've got left um, as far as where we can post videos um, well we've got delicious that will also um, post to what I usually do for the for when I'm doing the, the uh, link was I usually do YouTube to delicious so I'm gonna choose in here uh, delicious at a public bookmark what I usually do sorry is, is um, post from uh, YouTube to delicious and then delicious over to Hootsuite and that's bookmarking your bookmarks basically so I'm going to put in here oh, let's just go in here to do the titles and stuff first title description video URL oh author name and again it's not giving us a place for tags okay so I need to go and do that again video SEO video optimization YouTube SEO and the URL goes up there we've got it in there a couple of times don't really need it in a couple of times let's take that one out and we should be okay now it might be a good idea instead of doing the same ones all the time um, can put a video um, video SEO strategies, video optimization tips, for example, video SEO 2013, that kind of stuff. You can just um, easily add an extra word. So it's still going to be there as a phrase match. Try and always keep it as at least as a phrase match, if not an exact match. And you're just building more relevancy, and it's kind of LSI type of keywords as well okay so I'm gonna end this video now I've done four or five here now so you've seen how it, how it works I'm gonna carry on finishing this and uh, I'll see you in the next video okay